didn't think it would work, but it has done. Well, <laughs> that's kind of made my day, that has. Well, it doesn't make me, there's been better things going on today, but that's quite pleased me, that has. I bet it won't stop now. Anyway, greetings folks and hello. Welcome to another Andy Does Ales, uh, the technological wizard here. Oh yeah, it's a bit sticky, he's a... Uh, hmm, I don't know what's happened to it. Anyway, um, yeah, the beer buffoon himself is back in your face. Now, come on, smash the likes. <laughs> Subscribe with a notification. I've been talking, you know, you've got to say that according to my lad. Anyway, anyway, it's, uh, it's a day for drinking beer again, I know. Um, recently, I did one from Stroud Brewery, which is really nice. It was a very, very good bitter. Um, that's that's the not the bitter. This is another one I'm going to do later, but I've just got this so I could find out. Remember where they were from? Uh, well, Stroud, obviously. <sighs> oh dear, didn't think that through, did we? Um, and in collaboration with Stroud Brewery, they've on their website something caught my eye. Now, as you know, I'm always harping on about milds and porters and. And there was a mild on the website. I thought, oh, we'll, we'll give that a try. So I got three from the same, the, brewed by the same company, Stroud Brewery. But it's a different label. Um, this is somebody called Hugh Fernley Whittingstall, who sounds too posh for his own good, that fella does. I, don't, I have no idea who he is. Um, we're apparently a little bit of a, a goo. He talks about a cottage all the time well i mean that's all right that's sorted isn't it yeah come in this is the front room kitchen bedroom dining room garden done sorted saved you a load of money there itv or bbc or whoever does it anyway <clears throat> in, com com in combination with stroud brewery i found a river cottage organic empathy nutty mild now can you see that on the the can's a bit pale the can's not very striking it's all it's all about sort of recycling and and you know org organicism and, and stuff like that apparently it's made with hemp <sighs> now if fruit isn't bad enough in beer what's hemp going to be like i don't know hemp was once at the heart of the rope and make do you know if, if this beer is going to be ropey <clears throat> It's just stringing me along this, is it? I'm not going to be happy <laughs> if it's any good. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is this this Hugh Farmer, Ham, Hugh Farmer uh, way, way, Wayfarer. Um, and he says, um, hemp is used for sustainable clothing as well. And even the mud guards on my electric bike. Electric bike. We've got electric buses and they're flipping useless. They keep breaking down. Give me sort of um, petrol and diesel any day. Yeah. Anyway, Hugh, he's a bit of an eco-warrior. Um, he reckons it's a nutty flavoured, oh, nutritious and nutty flavoured seeds in the hemp, apparently, are a great ingredient. You should try my hemp and parsley pesto. No thanks, mate. Doesn't sound very, uh, very good, that. Hemp being a cousin of the hop, hemp and hop, who is? I had a hunch it would make a brilliant beer. I wasn't wrong, but don't take my word for it. I won't, mate. I'll take my word for it. If it's rubbish, I'll tell you. All right? Check out the roasty, toasty, nutty flavours in this smooth, creamy ale. Hemp is the future. No, cash is the future. So why not make it part of your future, starting with the contents of this can? <sighs> well, a load of rubbish. I mean, I'm all for saving the world, and I've, I've, I've said before, you know, I've got my special bulb and my bag for life, so I'm sorted. Thank you very much. I still like my Harley, petrol driven, diesel buses, all the rage. Can't, can't, uh, can't argue with that. Anyway, um, Hugh Fearless Warrington, whatever your name is, I'm going to try this, and if I don't like it, I'll tell you. But it's a mild. So it might. How does a posh kid know how to make a mild? Eh? Mild's for the common people. I'm not that I'm common. I'm not. Ooh. It's lively. Right. Come on, Hugh. 
is this going to be a proper mild or is it going to be you know like a, a, a pastiche of one well pouring it it looks like a mild I can't smell much from here but I'll give it a whiff once it gets in the bottle now there might be bits and bobs in the bottom as well so I'm going to be a 14,000 finger head there look at that right let's leave it there for a minute okay didn't pull that very well did I right point against you there Hugo or whatever your name is that looks more like a brown ale or a strong bitter to me rather than a mild a mild should be darker than that to be honest in my opinion um right let's have a look at the light it's hazy slightly hazy uh, through the light i can see carbonation going on and it doesn't it's too light it's too light to be a mild that is harry you've got it all wrong there so far anyway two points against you <clears throat> right let's give it a smell right on the plus side it smells like a beer so there's not a lot of um, difference in there. there's not a lot of funny stuff coming out on the aromas it smells like a beer um, getting a bit of a roast on there but not a lot not a lot so uh, right Harry Henry Hugo whatever your name is Hugh that'll do won't it we'll see if it's right or not shall we Right, as a beer, pardon me, I'm spitting it all over the place now. As a beer, it's not bad. As a mild, it fails miserably. <clears throat> it's not a mild, in my opinion, that isn't. I know you can see it. It's not a mild. It's it's more like a bitter. It's more like a. <clears throat> it's not even a brown ale. It it's it's. Now, it's, it's nice, right, it's a good beer, okay, but don't class it as a mild when it's not a mild. Nutty, well, there's a fair, there's a fair bit of sweetness in there. Um, it's not, there is a bit of a roast, you can, you can sort of taste the roast, but it's quite sweet. It's quite a sweet roast. It's like a parsnip type of flavour. Parsnippy. Is that the hemp? I don't know. I've never had hemp before, so I've no idea. No idea what it tastes like. Um, as a beer, it's not bad, but again, it's not a mild. Um, it's too light for a mild. It needs to be darker than that. It needs to be a bit more, bit more of a roast to it. it needs a bit more nuttiness to it. It needs. Um, like a smokiness to it as well uh, and it has none of that there's none of that coming through at all <coughs> pardon me it does make you burp so it does the job of a beer that's a good thing ah. right you faithless wainwright or whatever your name is don't class it as a mild it's not i really don't think it is uh, we'll try the other ones i've got a nettle beer to do well, goodness sake Pardon me, that'll make me burp. Oh, triply. Triply as much. I'm sorry about that. I do beg your pardon. It's it's really quite sweet, that is. Um, it's pleasant. It's a, it's a nice mouthfeel. It's a good beer. But I was looking forward to a nice, decent, nutty smoky mild and it's come out as like a sort of sweet half bitter that's all i forget priorities right lad and do it right next time anyway <clears throat> what do you think if you can find it um stroud brewery i mean stroud brewery the beers that they do normally very very good indeed this river cottage organic empathy doesn't work so well because it's not what it says on the tin. 
Nutty mild. No, it's a sweet bitter. Honestly. Malty, nutty and smooth. Well, smooth it is. Malty it's ish. Nutty it's not. Unless you get sweet nuts. But anyway. Right, folks. Let's see what you think. If you can get hold of it, have a try. See what you think. Uh, and let me know on the, in the comments and whatever you... Blah, blah, blah. Please subscribe. <clears throat> um, I'm heading up to 300 subscribers. That's a, that's a good thing. I like that. Thank you very much for everybody who has done already. I've been waffling on for 10 minutes already. I'm going to try my thing now and see if it stops the, the video. If it doesn't, I'll still be here for another 20 minutes yet at least. Mm, crikey, they say. You know what Cheers, folks. Enjoy your beers. And uh, whether they be good or bad, just appreciate them. Cheers, folks. No, it didn't work. Don't try that button.